Personally, I think his talents are really good. Oh. Hello, OG. Oh. Roll forward. Oh, Hello, oh. and goodbye, Ogo. It was really, really nice knowing you. This will allow OG not only to get first blood. Either. They didn't see the Chikiro come in. They only see the Ogre. Now they'll see the Chikiro. So first stuns, the dual breath as well. All is going to connect with Cole Snap. The ticks just continue on the Ember Spirit. And it's this double combination when you've got both Alacrity as well as having uh, the Ogre Bloodlust. Oh, he oh, went for that hook shot. Point blank range but with the battery assault. They should keep the control going. He needs to reach the creep so he can infest. He's not in range. Now he is infest in. He gets the hit one of the big creeps. And now with the extra help arriving from Ogre, Girax will make a little bit more distance, but he used it to chain stun both of them. They're buying time. It's all about bringing Anna in range to the Ogre. He's got steering chains available. Doesn't want to trigger it just for him. So slide a fist first. There's an extra spirit. Fly is holding by, the Sun Strike is coming in, Anna, the Shallow Grave will keep him alive. You have still, actually you don't have the mana for another Shadow Wave. Kick from Jirax is all about the disengage. Comes forward, but it's the Ogre Majai. He was there to help out, he was meant to tilt the balance of that fight on bottom lane, but now on the run, the kick is nice and quick, and that's one very... Yeah, he's going to be the obvious target, S4 is not going to commit too much for this one, but the bigger target is actually in mid lane, it's no tell dying. With a smoke rotation, they oh, went for the Because it definitely hit before he slide a fist. Now, Cold Snap over on no tell. They need to get first the Sun and the Ignite. Keep that Cold Snap rolling and burning. Not enough mana to actually trigger an open wound. So no tell looking to try and turn on, on this fight. With the Shallow Grave, you have a little bit longer to fight. A Shadow Wave is also available, burning. Backing out. Remember, he still has that toggle with the Tornado. No tell actually toggling even harder with a hook shot forward from S4. They catch out the Invoker. And Jirak plus the Ember on the back lines. It's so much damage. IG will lose four heroes. From the back side, it looks like. And they don't have a Sentry Ward over there. Yep, they do have one on, on the Ogre for now. Oh, the Storm Vault with the damage of the mix of physical as well as magical. And a pure spectacle of death and IG. And the main course for OG is uh, OP locked inside the cogs. Kick down. Again, need the control factors of, of this Invoker. But now with the kick, the Rolling Boulder and the cogs. Invictus Gaming, Life still on Ogre. He's Bite. got the Haste Rune, so with Battery Assault. Yeah, he'll get the stun off. He reaches it in time with the help of the Four Staff. So you can say goodbye to the yeah, Jakira. Vision knows there's nothing to come from it. It's the bottom lane where there's something to come from it. Fly wants to get that Shallow Grave off, but he just can't get his arms up in the air to do it. Pulse Snap causing too many issues, but now it's S4's turn. Support for support with the Infest out. Anna has to jump away pretty quickly, away from the Sun Strike. So Q picked up by S4. The Battery Assault does the work. Fire fist down from Anna, and now has to Spirit Jump the other way. Can't get the secondary jump off. Unless he wants to buy back and be part of this fight, maybe that's the reason why Burning is now looking to run to the west. Stormbolt will fly out, he has the Rage available, and with the Cogs Burning, he'll have to Rage and TP to get out to freedom, but now, okay, there's too much damage coming his way. He just has to Rage and try and run it off, but it's not going to be enough, even with the Open Wind Trigger. And now Boboka, he's, he's, he's stayed here way too long. We're going to lose all that wonderful armor that is the Ogres. And he is mincemeat at that point. It's okay, you don't really care if the Ogre dies right now. At least not in that uh, Maybe mid lane, you might care about that. No tell. The BKB, he's being protected by the Crimson Guard as well. Gets away from burning. S1 has a hook shot in to buy a little bit of space. But in comes Earth Spirit. Jirax looking to come in through the side. They don't keep the chase going. So a lot of missed abilities by Stepping Blast as well as the kick from Jirax. Sure, if Vogue not involved, but you can always just bring in that Sun Strike. Yeah, they hit pretty hard on the Jirax. No tell is already pretty low, too. S4 locked inside of his own cogs. So he'll stick around, beating into the Ogre Magi with open wounds. S4, now nowhere to run. The Force Up will push you out of range of the Ice Path, but you've got the Invoker coming in, too. Starts with the EMP burn. S4, there's no way he was escaping from that. Very, very good. And Deafening Blast is also very, very good. Oh, small little opening on the Ogre. Watching that top lane where the gank was coming in from the live stealer. The BKB triggered off. The Shallow Grave's already been used to with the Sun Strike. S4 just waits out his turn. More supports on the way. It's the tornado coming over from OP. No tell. Hunting down that live stealer. He's got face boost to run through, but it's even up live steal with S4. Hook shutting in. They have a lot of damage, and No tell just hits him hard with a crit. He's very low on HP. Well, in we go. Back into the game as uh, we've managed to resume. Ogre gets quickly picked off by Q and uh, the retreat.
out through the base. S4 is actually stuck inside the base underneath the tier 3 tower. With the tornado going to pick him up, the EMP burns going to be there too. So he's got no matter. He's trying to hook out the Bobo. He was right in the line, so he couldn't get the they perfect. They know the no still sitting in that little tree line, but they jump forward. They go down, and they're chasing down after S4. But with no tail, BKB triggered. There's a terrible amount of damage into burning. Two heroes lost for Invictus Gaming. And it will jump back, S4 able to survive with the gem, battery assault will also cancel out the TP of the Ogre, so he won't be able to survive, but they're chasing down the bigger heel, it's the Invoker, won't happen, so back down to the, to the Ogre to kill him. This could get a little bit hairy for OG if they don't make things happen Ooh. with this Aegis. That crush just off target, S4's gonna lock him inside with the Cog, Temptation's already up. My head still will pop out. The Ice Punch is trying, trying to create a little bit of space to get out, but S4 hook shots back in again, looking for a target. Maybe with the kick and the control, they find it over on the slot, and they have it, and even the extra slow is on the Ogre Majai. Lotus Orb will try and protect him. The push up, maybe this is the bigger kill, however. Burning, silence up, no tell, needs just one hit. Blink comes off cooldown, and there it is. One hit to the crit. Q pushed back up by G-Rex. Now he's stuck up on the cliff top, and the rest of support is there. Q will slowly fall, they just watch him die. Bit by bit, he'll tick down, push down, but the Gem of True side. He's like outputting a ton of damage with Wild Beat. Oh, so bomb. Resilient. Caught the Live Stealer. Also managed to get the silence on him, the follow-up kick from Chirax. They can they keep it going? Live Stealer still cannot rage. He cannot infest. Remember, he doesn't have buyback, he already expended it. He got 13 seconds till IG are back at five men, and they're not gonna even have that time. Shakiro down for almost a hundred seconds, and no tell. Look to the opening. Lincoln's has already been triggered. He doesn't have the blood pool available. He's got a huge amount of physical damage. One swing, there it is. And this may even be the game with Invoker buying back. He cannot die again. The jump forward, the damage on the spin is high, but you've still got fly right behind him. Get the shallow grave off. OP looking for his target too, and the best one they've got is Anna sitting inside the base. You get the quick bash, but again, you're losing heroes and the hook shot in. S4 goes for the play, the four star foul, but OP's in trouble. He's down for two minutes. That's the opening that OG really wanted. Burning kept off the front lines. Jirax is chasing him and actually kicking him further out. They might be able to battle under the Triumph. They can trigger this now. Burning will have a little bit more life, but you've got the shallow grave. You've got the sustain, the blink crush. The space might be creative, but is it going to be enough? The Yule Center up from Slada. He'll break free of the Bloodthorn, but not from Anna. Control the Life Stealer. But OG are just doing their work, and they will call it IG. We're going to a game three. OG will force it, but it wasn't easy. I don't think I've ever seen a Life Stealer controlled so uh, well as in this game. And uh, rampant combination of the Slaughter and Life Stealer have fallen.